Hey guys, good morning. So today, I am going to be, oh, he's tired, but he's not quite going to sleep yet. He's trying. I think he's gonna be a thumb sucker because he constantly puts his little thumb in his mouth and he gets the cutest thing ever. Anyway, I'm gonna be making a oatmeal pumpkin bake. And so, And so I thought I would share it with you guys. I'm following a recipe, just something that I found online, but as always, I am gonna be changing it up a bit. But I will link the recipe below if you guys want to make this. And then, obviously, I'm gonna be doing a few substitutions. A lot of times my substitutions happen just because it's things that I don't have, like it calls for vanilla, and I don't happen to have vanilla right now. It also calls for an egg. And we have a bunch of chickens, but we've lost a few recently. We have some older ones. And we're making apple pie today, so I wanna save my egg for that so I'm going to be using applesauce in replace for the eggs we went apple picking on Friday and we're going again today so my daughter made a bunch of applesauce and we're gonna be making apple pie later which I'm gonna be showing you guys clips of all that so that's why I'm using applesauce instead of eggs so I'm gonna go ahead and get this going and get it in the oven for breakfast It is a gorgeous day outside today. It's actually, we've been having just the best fall weather here in the Midwest. A lot of times it goes from being like super hot to super cold. So I'm really excited that this year we are getting this long, nice fall where the weather is just perfect. I have all the windows open in the house. We spend so much time out here on our sunroom and just have been enjoying this weather. So that's why later today we're gonna be going apple picking, which I'm gonna be taking you guys along for, but I just wanted to do a little baby update. Jacob is now two months old and I know everyone says it, it just goes so fast and we can't believe he's this old and obviously I'm feeling all those same things. I feel like having a newborn is such a weird feeling because I can't honestly remember life without him, but I also like cannot believe that he's already two months old. So he is such a good little baby as long as I'm holding him. You see he's in this wrap and he's pretty much in this wrap in all of my videos since he's been born and he just loves being in here. I take that fourth trimester thing pretty seriously and just love holding my babies pretty much for the first six months. They take a lot of their naps and just hang out in this wrap all day. This is the Sally baby wrap. I get a lot of questions about this. So I'll have it linked down in the description box below. But I pretty much keep him in here all day. I still just sleep with him all night. And so if I do put him down, he pretty much cries, which all my babies figure that out pretty quickly that they don't like being put down, which is fine by me. But when I'm holding him, he is such a little angel. He is very loved on by all of his siblings. Um, ben is starting to warm up to him and likes to give him kisses now. He took a little bit to warm up, but now, so he's pretty much doing all the newborn things. He nursing really well, he sleeps a lot, and you know, just being extremely cute. He started to smile. I finally got some clips and pictures of him smiling, which is always hard to catch in the beginning because it seems like every time I get the camera out, he like focuses on the camera. So other than smiling, he's not really doing too many new things. I know that all of that will come 
and I look forward to all the different stages, but this newborn phase just goes by way too quick. And so I'm definitely gonna just keep enjoying this phase. The other day I was out and about and someone said, oh, look at that's a brand new baby. And I was like, thank you for saying that because I feel like he already looks so big to me. So I'm glad that other people think that he still looks like a brand new baby because to me, he is still a newborn and he will be that way for a long time. <laughs> so after having a new baby, it reminds me just important um, life insurance is for our family. Life insurance is definitely one of those topics that I don't like to discuss or probably anyone likes to discuss because thinking about losing my husband or about my kids losing a parent is definitely one of my worst nightmares. But being prepared for the worst case scenario helps to ease my mind. So my husband and I decided to get our life insurance policy set up so no one has to struggle if something like that were to happen. And that is really important for us. It is so easy to procrastinate on something like this because no one wants to think about the worst case scenario. But every year that you wait to get life insurance, the rates can go up eight to 10%. So it is important to do it now instead of later. Since I know that most of you all watching are parents, I just want to run these numbers by you because they definitely shocked me and it was very eye-opening. It can cost over $200,000 to raise a child, not even counting college tuition. So having life insurance can ensure that your children have the financial support to grow and live the life that you want them to live at even after you are gone. I think the biggest reason we put off getting life insurance is because it sounds really confusing. We don't really know how to do it and we think it's really expensive. I found a company called Ethos that is the opposite of all of that. The thing that I love most about Ethos is that it's 100% online, which is really important to me right now being a new mom it's not always easy for me to get out of the house but ethos makes that easy because you can do everything online you don't have to get any medical exams or blood tests ethos is able to cover people in minutes instead of weeks you just have to answer a few health questions online ethos is also very affordable i think the cost is typically the thing that holds people back from purchasing life insurance but in reality it's very affordable ethos has a limited time offer for eligible new policy holders where you can get free access to will and trust planning tools as part of your ethos policy after you activate. That's a $449 value, but not all policies are eligible. If you're interested in learning more about ethos or if you're interested in getting your free life insurance quote, you can see my link below. You can get your own personalized free quote today by clicking on the link in my description box. For lunch today, I'm just making a big pot of vegetable beef soup. We have still a lot of squash from the garden. So I'm using some butternut squash in my soup. I like to peel them and cut them in half, then dice them up. And this makes a really hearty, cozy soup for a cool fall day or even in the winter. And it's a good way to get some more nutrients and use up your squash if you have a bunch like I do. While the soup is cooking, I am just getting the kitchen back in order. I find it really helpful to do the dishes that I use for cooking while the meal is still cooking, just so that I don't have as much dishes to do. After lunch, everyone's always tired and ready for nap time. So I try to do dishes during cooking just to make the cleanup afterwards a little bit easier.
So today after nap time, we came here to this apple orchard to pick some apples. This is very close to our house and they have peaches and blackberries and stuff during the summer. And now it is apple season. So we are gonna pick some apples and go home and make an apple pie. What'd you find? Benjamin! You want an apple? Let's get one out of the tree. Do you want mommy to pick you one? Say yes. Oh, it's a little one just for Benny. Look, Benny, it's a little one for you. Do you want it? Say yes. Take a bite. Whoa, let me see. Did you try any yet? No. Mommy, mimic how to eat them. Mm. 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 After we got home from picking apples, we made some apple pies just to go with dinner tonight. Before making apple pies, we had to go out to the chicken coop to collect some eggs for the pie crust. Oh, I see eggs. Go get them. Oh, I saw. Oh, just in case. We Put your thing up there so you don't drop them. Now we can make apple pie, huh? Can we make apple pie? Yes. Can we have eggs? How many eggs do we need? Well, um, um, then, um, um, then. Okay, we're ready. Thank you, chickens. Mom. Hey, walk past Mama. That's not good. Hey, okay, walk in. Walk to the house. Then everybody can then get apples. And then stir it up. And I have to eat about $3,006. That's going to make it get all... 